Facing the facts, let's look at Proverbs 15, verse 13. Proverbs 15, verse 13 says, A happy heart makes the face cheerful, but heartache crushes the spirit. I'm going to read that one one more time. It's a good one. A happy heart makes the face cheerful, but heartache crushes the spirit. Facing the facts. Around the world, people have tried many beauty treatments to enhance the glow on their faces. In Thailand, therapists slap their clients' faces to increase blood circulation to the skin. I don't think I would like that one. Some Hollywood stars have had their faces covered with caviar, known to be rich in vitamins A, B, and D. In Bible times, the primary cosmetic was olive oil. But do you know there are some scriptural beauty treatments? Peter said true beauty comes from the hidden person of the heart with the incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit. 1 Peter 3 verse 4. Solomon said, A happy heart makes the face cheerful. Proverbs 15 13. And Ecclesiastes 8 verse 1 says, A man's wisdom makes his face shine. As we absorb God's light, we'll reflect Jesus to the world around us. We must constantly behold the glory of the Lord and be transformed into His image by the Holy Spirit. People will notice how different we are. Take a look in the mirror. Is your face reflecting Christ? Those different beauty treatments were kind of interesting, right? I don't like the slap in the face, but I guess that does make your blood flow. But olive oil, back in the Bible times, they used that just about for everything. So how neat to know they used that maybe on their faces and their skin too. True beauty comes from the hidden person of the heart with the incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit. And isn't that true? Even someone who might not be beautiful as the world would say, wouldn't be on a magazine, but they just have a beautiful aura about them because they are just quiet and gentle in spirit. And then I like that Solomon says, a happy heart makes the face cheerful. And that's true. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it, right? Isn't that true? But if your heart is happy, it shows on your face. And you can just kind of tell some people are walking around with like really down faces. But you can tell the people who have happy hearts because their faces are cheerful. And I like the last one, Ecclesiastes 8.1, a man's wisdom makes his face shine. I love that. If you have got God's wisdom in your heart, your face is just going to shine and radiate that and make you draw other people to you. People want to be around people who are happy, don't they? They don't want to be around someone with a sour puss face. I love the last line, as we absorb God's light, we'll reflect Jesus to the world around us. We must constantly behold the glory of the Lord and be transformed into His image by the Holy Spirit. People will notice how different we are. And have you ever noticed that? I noticed that especially when I was young. I was kind of in the video world, and that's pretty much a male-dominated field. And so, of course, with men, you get a lot of crass talking and cursing and things like that. And then I would be working on some of those different crews, and they'd be like, oh, sorry, didn't mean to cuss. And I'm like, I never said you couldn't cuss. But just knowing how I was and just happy, and they could just tell that I was a kind person and probably a Christian, that then they just kind of realized, oh, maybe I shouldn't be saying those things. So is it? it's interesting if we are shining God's light, how people notice that and they act different around us. I love the last line. Take a look in the mirror. Is your face reflecting Christ? They say a lot of communication is nonverbal. So like your hands, your face, your body, how you're carrying yourself, your temper, all of those things communicate as well. So what is your face showing? Is it showing that you're all scared or that you're mad or sad a lot? Or are you trusting God and trusting in his promises and just so thankful for the salvation that he gives us that it just puts joy on your face? So I hope today you can walk around with a joyful face because it makes people wonder, What's going on with her? And that gives you an open door to talk about the gospel. So have a great day having a joyful face. And we'll see you back here tomorrow for more of God's word, which will put more joy on your face. Won't it? Yes, it will. See you tomorrow. Yes, yes. And you can order your own copy of Walking with Jesus by Dr. David Jeremiah by going to davidjeremiah.org or by calling Turning Point at 877-998-0222. And I would love to answer any question that you may have about faith in Jesus. Let's get stronger this year in 2024. You can contact me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. And I hope you have a wonderful day growing your faith 
in Jesus.